or why it took uh, so much longer than uh, you know, since you were able to kind of get off the court and focus more on the recovery? Um, like you say, like why? Like why we went so far beyond the yeah. original um, plan? There was nothing like exactly, I don't know, I guess. Um, I think, in my person, I think that the five to six month, whatever, that was kind of a soon that I back to I think that was a little unrealistic to be playing um, college basketball. You know, like, like I said before, when this whole thing happened, I felt pretty good just you know, walking around day to day activities. Um, but it's a whole different animal trying to get out there and you know, practice and play full speed, moving laterally. Um, and when I tried doing that after a few weeks, that's when I feel like I was starting to get setbacks. And, that's what made it you know, difficult. You probably been asked this, but is there any chance that you're going to be around here next year? Just asked that. Um, been asked that a lot. Um, at this time, I, like I just said, I really don't know. Um, you know, it all depends on how I'm feeling in a few months. Um, I'm sure I'll have to sit down and you know talk to the doctors, my family, coaches, and kind of see what the deal is. How does it feel right now? Um, you know, it feels okay. It's still some good days, some bad days. You know. Um, Especially days after, if like I practice or do a little bit too much, maybe um, working out wise, you know, I'll definitely feel it for the next few days. Um, but overall, I definitely feel like it's getting better. Is oh. a future in basketball something you still are planning on? As far as whether it be, I mean, at the time it was announced, uh, Coach Beeline said that there was a job waiting yeah. for you. But is yeah. it something playing wise you still think you want to do? Um, I mean, maybe I don't know. You know. Like I said, I kind of got to wait and feel it out in a few more months, see how I'm feeling. You know, right now my biggest focus is just getting healthy and making sure I'm graduating. How hard is it watching these guys battle to try to make the tournament uh, and not being able to do anything on the court physically to help? Yeah, it sucks. Um, it stinks. You know, I think it was you know, a similar situation last year. Um, you know, Derek and Karras, it was similar. Um, just seeing you know, those guys log such heavy minutes this year. Wanted to get out there and help, but knowing that you know, I can't, um, it's, it definitely doesn't sit well. How different in your mind would this season have been had you and Karis been healthy? Um, I think it, you know, I think it, it would have been a lot different. You know, I can't make any remarks regarding record or where it be or anything like that. But I, you know, I just know from experience, I think it's a lot different. You know, teams are a lot different when you have senior leaders out there. The fact that we don't have any seniors playing this year. I think our young young guys have done a great job and they're, they're growing and getting better every day. Um, but it's just tough when you don't have seniors you know, playing big time college basketball. So Mike, when you look back at your freshman year in the final four, I mean, do you almost appreciate it even more now than maybe you did at the time? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, I always say like my first two years I, it was like thought this was just like college basketball. I thought it was just like a walk in the park. It's like we're just we're gonna win a lot of games, like you know, not much adversity. Everything's you know going great when you're winning. Um, you know, but then I think the, right, you know last year and this year, you know, a little bit of a reality check. Um, you know, we face some adversity, guys get injured, things like that. Um, really for my first two years, you know, other than other than Mitch's injury, we were pretty smooth sailing. Um, but Def definitely makes me appreciate it more. Um, but at the same time, I'm not like upset with how these last because that you know, I feel like that's part of college basketball. Having gone through ending your season back in December and sort of the, the mental process is involved, is there anything that you say to Karis now about kind of accepting it? I guess. Um, not really. I mean, I, I guess I can't really tell him to accept it or anything like that. But I guess the conversation would be more about just I would just let him know that. I wanted what was best for him, and just uh, to make sure he's he's smart, and, um, not doing anything just to make everybody happy. You know, make sure you got to take care of yourself. Because obviously, he has a future ahead of him. Is it bizarre at all to you knowing those guys you played with as a freshman could still be here playing as a team? Yeah, it's it's crazy. I mean, like I think about all the time. Could you imagine if my class was still here? You know, all five of us, but. I feel like every team in college basketball would probably say that. You know, what if you know the Kentuckys or the, you know, the Dukes and you know, all those guys had all their teams too? It's not enough basketball to go around. Um, so you can't really use that as like an excuse or an argument. But it would it would be really cool because those are you know three of my good buddies. How much? Mike, with all the injuries the last couple of years, it's it's tricky to judge the 
where the program's at right now. Where do you think the program's at? Oh, I think I'm not, you know, questioning at all. I think we're in a good spot. Um, you know, I think the coaches and, and the guys, considering what we've gone through the past couple of years in, in terms of injuries, and I'm not using that for an excuse. Um, but I don't think we've really flinched in terms of, you know, attitude and effort. Have you had a conversation with Coach Beeline that, you know, if you hypothetically do decide or are healthy enough to play mm -hmm. next year, but there is a spot for you to come back? Because obviously, you know, this wasn't something maybe that they were planning on and you obviously weren't planning on before that. Um, I haven't really had a conversation with him about it um, just because, you know, I know, like you guys know, I know the scholarship situation, things like that. Um, but I also know at this time that I'm not – I'm not feeling good, I'm not ready to play. And I always told him, I was like, I'm not going to you know, come back and eat up a scholarship if I don't think I can play and help. Um, so I really won't be talking to him, making that decision until I think I'm ready, until after season. I don't want to distract him any more than anyone else. Do you, you anticipate that conversation taking place, though? Yeah, probably, I, I would imagine. Um, you know, I'm sure he'd probably want to come up to me and have to talk to me about it or something after season. Um, but like I said, right now, I feel like this is right time to be asked about next year. You know, we're trying to make a tournament push. So, I mean, that's that you still have, you do have the option next year of <laughs> doing whatever you want. Yeah. Um, I'm sure a lot of places would love to have you. Uh, has that thought crossed your mind of what it would even be like? You know, just even seeing Max in an Indiana year, that looks weird. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, have, you, really have you pictured yourself in anything in, in a bowl like that? No, you know, I definitely haven't pictured myself wearing anything. Maybe not Indiana. Anything, but the Mason <laughs> Blue. Yeah. No, it was, and Max was one of my good buddies, but it was, it was real weird, um, you know, seeing him, especially, you know, for me, with you know, how great Michigan's been to me and you know, all the fans. Um, so that's not really something I've given much thought to. Would you like to play though if you're healthy? Um, I mean, if I'm healthy, yeah, but I guess, I mean, that's like a, a loaded question. You know, I've said, it's like, would I like to be a millionaire or be a doctor? It's like, yeah, I see, but who wants to go to school for seven years? Um, but no, if, if I'm healthy and, you know, I think I can play, stuff like that, obviously I'd, I'd want to, you know, consider it, but that's something I have to run by with the coaches, my family, all that stuff. How much why me have you done? Two hips at your age? Oh, none. None. Oh, just because, you know, it is what it is. Um, my dad has bad hips, so I kind of seen it. I didn't expect it to come this early, you know. But um, you know, I'm, I never you know, do that—the victim thinking or the blame game, anything like that. So, if theoretically you guys are up by 30 with two minutes to go on Saturday, you're not going to play in that game. No, I wouldn't imagine. <laughs> I, wouldn't, gonna, I don't. You're not going to burn the. You're not going to. You wouldn't burn a, a red shirt or whatever. Yeah, probably not. Just, just a good player. Yeah, 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 just. Just to you know, keep coach hasn't even really brought that up to me. Um, you know, like I said, we're putting, you know, pushing for a tournament. Around. I don't think coach B wants to put my old out of shape butt in there. Um, but yeah, definitely, I would like to keep all my options open for next year as well. Did you dress? I I don't know. I'm about to find out. Like you guys, there's a jersey <laughs> in my locker. I don't. Tito, do you know? I don't know. Okay, I don't know either. So, so, we'll so if it's there, you'll you'll pop it on. Pop it on. Okay. I've noticed my my practice jersey got a lot. You either shrank or I'm getting fatter. So <laughs> one of the two. I don't know. What was the ceiling of this team? Take a couple more, and then we got to go to the shoot. Who cares? Have been healthy all year. Um, I don't really know. I can't make. You know, in terms, I said this earlier in terms of like record or where, but you know, I thought we'd finish. Um, but I definitely know we had high expectations. <coughs> um, me and Karis talked about it all summer and. Coach stuff like that. Um, I think things would be a lot different, but you know, it is what it is. It's stuff that you know, in college basketball. Yeah. Yeah.